1969, my father purchased me a mini bike. I was nine years old. It was a little Indian chopper, Rebel Edition. I recently found the frame of this mini bike and a few of the parts. This video is going to be me bringing it from a rust pile back to a running mini bike with the original style Tecumseh engine on it. Project Mini Bike Restoration. My big hold up was the proper type of motor or engine to go on it. It originally came with a Tecumseh three horse. Well, we finally come up with a three and a half horse Tecumseh. If it'll hit, we're going to put a carburetor on it and see what we can do with it. Let's see. Well, there's the first part of it. If I can get this carburetor off. There you go. Now, I'm going to fill the bowl up somewhat on this carburetor. And we'll see if we can get an actual run out of it. Ha <laughs> it runs. Hopefully that'll be enough gas to get it going. I guess what we're going to do now, we're going to pull this carburetor off and try to clean it. Okay, I'm going to pull the bowl off this carburetor and see if the float's not stuck in it. No. It's not stuck. The uh we're gonna have to blow this carburetor out some and see what we can do because I notice I've got a little bit of rust in the bottom of the bowl and that's not good on it okay check our float height There it got the float height, but uh, we'll see if we can get it back together now. Of course, with this carburetor, if you notice, the bowl got an indent and then a drop on it. You always want to make sure that the drop is at the drop side of the float. 
And we'll put this back in for our air adjustment. We're going to go stick it back on the motor and see what we can come up with. You don't want to tighten that too tight though. And then get that down and come out. I usually go a turn and a quarter to start with. I'll do the same on the fuel mixture. We'll go over and put it back on and see if we got the leak stopped. Okay, see if we can get our carburetor tightened down. I don't have all the little bars and stuff hooked up. One reason is I haven't found them yet. Don't know what I've done with them. But we will figure it out eventually and get it all hooked up properly. Okay, I'm going to set y'all up different and try to start this thing again. Wow. Trying a little different on the settings. See if we come up with We've got it just about ready to go on the project. It's going to be a little tricky over that keyway, but with a little bit of persuasion, I'm sure it's going to come out of it. There's our clutch out. Now that stays with that one. No, it might not either. But now, 
we're gonna, it won't be long and the motor will be out of it. Okay, I'm down to one out of four. This is the last one. Briggs and Stratton motor. Goodbye. Okay, this motor hasn't had a clutch on it. And you have to use this bolt here for the clutch. So I'm chasing the threads up to make sure I can get it in. This is to hold the clutch on above the other stuff that is done. But that chased up pretty easy, which is a good thing. Got me a real soft emery sponge to do it a little bit more. Something like emery cloth, but it's got a sponge on it. Okay, that's nice. Cleaned up nice enough. Right. Put your little spacer washer on. Get to where you line your dowel pin up. This is where the bolt that we cleaned up a minute ago comes in. Set screws. Got one set screw. Hey girls, they can't hear me on the tape. Got one set screw that holds the clutch and a, on the keyway. And then another one that holds the clutch to the shaft. Okay, the clutch is installed. And with the Tecumseh. Such a beautiful fit. I'm getting the motor mounted and the motor and the jack plate mounted. I had to find a shorter bolt for this one spot than what I had before. Ah, yeah, that worked. So, get this in and get it close to where it needs to be. Now we gotta get our chain back on. Okay, what I will start out doing is getting the chain tension on this chain set, which you do that by turning this bolt right here. Okay? So, this will tighten up between the jack plate and the motor. Okay. Then there's a set screw down here to tighten to keep that from moving. Okay, it's possible that I've lost a couple of clips that I've already made, but I'm gonna just continue. 
I'm not going to back up and redo them. Hopefully I didn't lose them, but if I did, I did. That's part of the game, I guess. But now, what I would have lost is tightening that chain up. Now I'm going to try and tighten this chain up. Two of them tightened up good. Okay, I got one more to tighten up, which has got the kickstand on it. And then we'll be over here up in a seat. Okay, what we're going to take care of now is a kill switch. I'm going to have it up here with this little red push button. going to be the kill switch. So. Slide it in and make sure it goes and crimp. And right there we go. We now have a kill wire. This major project is going to be trying to figure out how I'm going to hook up the throttle. We'll get it figured out. We just hooked the kill switch up. We got it all mounted up. Let's see how we do. Been 71 since I've heard it run that good. I'm hoping that I can change this governor arm out with a different one and come up with what I need. There's some the length of them. This is the governor arm for this manifold. So, <clears throat> see what we can do. One, is this rod there and we'll also have to hook up a spring of course I don't know how this is going to work but just trying to see if I can piece it together. Oh, something ain't right there. Just don't feel right. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to change this from a lever style, it had a red handle on it here at one time, I'm trying to change it over to a cable style so that the cable can work it up and down. Now it's got a little, right here there is a little nipple and in this plate behind it there are two little indentations which are the throttle locks for the hand operated system so what I have to do is I have to grind the nipple off of this which is the other side of this indentation and then loosen up right in here to where it'll work freely but that's what I'm going to be doing now so we can get us a throttle cable connection set up on this mini bike. Okay, I've got it converted over, just tightening it down now. Then we'll figure out our spring rates to where it'll pull the 
throttle back. Alright, well, I don't know, but it seems like my little fix up is trying to work. Throttle linkage working like it should, or close to like it should, but I think that's got it. Well, hopefully you'll like this video. Hopefully you'll hit the thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell next to subscribe now, and share the video, please. I need all the help I can get. Hopefully we'll see y'all in the next video.